So yep. you guys were flying around here, uh, protecting naval operations around the binary star of Epsilon Catastrophe. Uh, you were locating and torpedoing multiple crow cloning ports, and you were going to tylerize the native Stygian systems. And no hold bars, uh, deniability will be allowed in the debrief. And you were flying a total of 40 vessels. That seems like a lot. Let me, um, let me see if I can paste those into the chat, even though I think... Uh, there they are. But many of them are uh, no longer functioning, as I believe. And the ones that we have left after the first day of battles are these right here, those uh, 20, plus the ones that you're actually flying around. And I'm trying to see if I can remember which ship I'm in at the moment. You didn't write it down? No, I think I did. I just got to find it. Ah, I am in Kirk is my co-pilot. Kirk is my co-pilot. And this is 6111. 6111. That is a that is a terrible ship. That essentially is a gun emplacement that doesn't move around. Uh, Kirk is my co-pilot. Uh, 611, that six is firepower. That second one is maneuverability to avoid damage. That final one is if I didn't avoid the damage, what's my chance I'll survive it? And the final one is industrialization, which I have not really integrated in game and I've been ignoring, which is fine. We can ignore that. Although in this next part, it may become a small part of play. Relatively small. Uh, shall I just go ahead and uh, and reveal what I need to reveal, or or should I uh, let you guys uh, run around? Hmm. All right. Up to so you. those are different. Those are not uh, ACAC. That is essentially seven, six, six, six different ships that are uh, coalescing together into a large cannon. And uh, that would be a bad thing. Uh, you do not want to. Uh, um, you do not want to have those six ships become a planet-killing type of craft. So uh, we're going to use the twenty ships that are have yet to be put into play, and we're going to uh, uh, use our own ships if we want. And we are going to assign the ships as either part of the propulsion, part of the cannons, or part of the ablative. And we're going to try to create a larger a uh, robot, uh, uh, you know, what is it, uh, a Power Ranger type uh, beast to fight this larger ship. Does everyone sort of understand what uh, what's about to happen? It sounds like a terrible idea. I mean, it, it's it sounds like the better idea may be to run, but uh, running uh, may not be an option. Uh, I'm going to move uh, Conrad back into the reserve since he's not right here. Well, we have a hull, we have a firepower, and we have a speed. We're just building a Cutlass Galleon. I'm going to move back here. And uh, so th someone might ask the question why you wouldn't just bit, get back in the perisher and fly the perisher at this thing. And uh, it probably would be uh, uh, a futile effort. Uh, the, the perisher is not outfitted to really fight something this big. You need the combined firepower of many of these different fighters. And so um, the directions, uh, Walker IKEA Systems is providing the actual... Uh, craft notes and they say that uh, you need to uh, step one bend cotter pin uh, tween booster a to booster b to booster c step two epoxy the dowels on joint ef while balancing chain d uh, step c apply forward ablative liberally uh, might save your bacon and step omega which should be the last step configure in a column three triangle three row three for additional matrix help contact manufacturer not your local sales rep and uh, so there is a correct uh, solution that will optimize your ability to put these ships in some sort of configuration. There are many bad uh, uh, things that could possibly do, but we're gonna start with uh, flipping cards for back to the drawing board. It's a special condition. If the ship swaggering is ever used to substitute for a condition, a completely failed role results in the loss of that swaggering. And, this and if you guys are ready, I'm gonna flip the first card of the day. If you're not ready, I'm still going to flip the first card of the day. And okay. here it comes. It is a knave. Inverted. Gosh, couldn't get any worse than that. Do you, you uh, said you had these on uh, my... Take, 
Yeah, and fortunately, this table doesn't have inverted, or at least you didn't put any inverted. Uh, fortunately, on... it does not have inverted. Anytime you don't see a bane, dedicated bane, it is a fortune. Go ahead and read that out to him for us, Mike. Oh, I get to take this first, huh? Could well, it's condition. Pretty... Yeah, could be pretty dangerous. Best not to use anyone important. Fail completely, and one ship part explodes. All players then will difficult to avoid being caught in the blast and suffering a vicious wound. That's not fun. <laughs> Condition, Tin Head Swaggering Override D. Uh, do we have Tin Head Swaggering Override D? Safety override. Safety let, me, uh, override. let me look on my character sheet here, since I probably should one play for a ship. little bit with, uh, until we get more, more players uh, appearing. I, and uh, now, Tin Head condition... Swaggering D. I have Tin Head Swaggering D if... Uh, if if it matters to anyone. Yeah, and Taryn are not allowed to attempt yeah. this role. And it says that, uh, yes, regardless, Skian and Taryn are not allowed to attempt this role. So who who among us has that tin head safety override? I have it. I do not I have jury rig, though. Don't have tin head safety override. I mean, yeah, yeah. Me I, but I, I may. Order because I'm a timer, so that's what I'd use. The, on the squad overview, we do not have uh, no taints, so we will not be able to just have that yeah. as well. Yeah. So I've got tin head right. safety, right? And I am not a Terran or a Skiath. Do you have jury rig? Do I have jury rig? That's Where the three, is that's, jury rig is a skill. Yeah, which skill? Great. We'll find it. Those are alphabetical. I do not have it. There we go. So why don't you try to make a roll of 13 on two dice, please? 13 on two dice. Well, wait, before you just roll that, I mean, this does look pretty bad. If we fail, all players then roll difficult to avoid being caught in the blast and suffering a vicious wound. Oh, Correct. He could, he could just make roll that, or he can have the free roll, and if necessary, I can use the make roll, uh, Tony, to... Uh, okay. To save well, us, because because I have uh, I have safety over ID. Do you, are you uh, lacking that yourself? Uh, I am lacking that. I do not have safety over ID. I I am level five, so I should get two rolls, right? That is correct. And I am level five, and also have uh, uh well, I don't have safety over ID. I have mortar, but that's my chimer equivalent. Correct. Right. That would be fine, Mike. All right. And right, so uh, second roll for you, Greg. Very cool. There it is. And uh, we have successfully survived that. What we're looking for on this table is essentially a result of uh, uh, not the attaboy, a uh, fail completely, uh, optional, and now, and go right into combat. When, as soon as we, uh, uh, if we, since we made this roll, Greg, you may take the first part of the ship. So you see the hex grid that's close to this uh, swarm of uh, crow, uh, crow uh, ships? Grab, grab a ship part from the upper corner you can either grab a nice little shield piece a nice little gun piece or a nice little uh, uh motor piece and you can put that somewhere down in the ship grid close to the swarm of crow fighters okay so up in the corner we've got we've got a sp I'm, I'm make sure i'm looking in the right place we've got a space station and a bunch of little dark gray chips Dark gray chips. Do, do you not do you not see a click on them and they'll and the tooltip will expose? Do you see propulsion? Yes, there we go. I got it now. Yeah, propulsion, cannons, and uh, ablative. And uh, you just you might want to look at those Walker IT instructions in the in the chat again because assuming that those are somewhat accurate, it implies that we want boosters first. It looks like it's saying boosters, then armor, then guns. Okay, yeah. well then. And you just want me to drag it down <clears throat> where? Somewhere close to the swarm of crow uh, uh, cloning ships that are down uh, by uh, the second star system that's been destroyed. I see all of us. The southeast corner, even just uh, Use the uh, the zoom in and out key to zoom out until you <clears throat> see. Uh, I got them. Okay. There we go. It's on the right side. Yeah. But we'll just drag. This is going to take me a couple of drags here. Let's see. Come on, you're an IT. You can't use the mouse to drag a, a chip. <laughs> take away your... There you go. All right, that's uh, that's that's almost... Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I... I, I, I don't know where I you want me to put I assume that we're going to so. put more than two other pieces into this uh, super ship we're making, right, Greg? Uh, yeah, I assume so. So you're only leaving us room to put 
two more like guns or bladed protective armor in front of your motor. Uh, in other words, I would feel free to put that thing back, you know, as in some place where, uh, like here. <laughs> yeah, that's a great place for it. It looks like so. Well, you're starting to go into the dark, but okay. And oh, now, uh, now we flip another card. Boom! I flip a card, and it's a nine. And it is a, it is another bad card, but we don't have go- a bad card. I will read it while Mike posts it. Ha! Huh, silly me. I was reading from the ad copy for the next year's models. Fail completely, and party is shaken. Regardless, if the card suit is valor, <laughs> it is not. The Dauntless Perisher loses a swaggering from borrowed components. Who did that? A savvy killer instinct. Uh, who, who among us has killer instinct? I'll go around the table. Uh, uh, Laura, do you have killer instinct? Savvy. Yeah, I think so. It I is a do. G. Yes, I do. Okay, so why don't we start with you then? Can you please give me? Uh, are you a swashbuckler? No, I, I'm level three. Okay, give me a roll of 10 on uh, two dice, please. Wait a minute. Skill. Um, No, I don't have that skill. Two dice? Two dice for 10 or... or, uh, Oh, she made it. There it is, always. And Laura, you may pick up a piece of the the puzzle here, uh, either propulsion or firepower cannons or ablative, and put it next to the other piece, I assume. You, You could leave a gap. It... It, uh, okay. Sometimes when you take two pieces of Lego and put them on opposite sides of the room, you do actually construct something. But well, according to the instructions, it looks like we're supposed to connect three boosters together. So I will grab a booster and put it next to the uh, uh, one that Craig put. And who says that my instructions are unclear? <laughs> All right. The IQ instructions are uh, at all useful. Well, <laughs> and, well, they're they they're not they're not not useful. Uh, so I go oh, on to the next card flip, and the next card flip we get is an inverted queen. Who shuffled this deck? And uh, if you would like to post it, Mike and uh, Greg, why don't you read for us, please? Oh, I'm reading again. All right, hang on. Uh... Inverted Queen, stagger the work shift before the bell sounds for a complete break stoppage. Now for a word from our sponsor. Bail completely and party is pinned. Regardless of cards, suit is intrigued. The Dauntless Perisher loses a swaggering from borrowed components. Condition, Tinhead Union certified. J, difficulty, 11, advantage, skill, drill sergeant. It is a commerce card, so we don't have to worry about that. And do we have Tinhead J, or for Mike, whatever the J equivalent is in under uh, EE suit? I do have Vice Grips, yes. Okay, so we'll start with you, Mike. How about Vice Grips? Uh, can you go ahead and do you are you a drill sergeant as well? I'm not a drill sergeant. Uh, how about two dice and uh, roll an 11? I think you have two rolls for your level. Yep. There's the 11, right? There's the 11. Mike, would you Good please roll. pick another piece? We have a couple of engines floating in space, but... Uh, uh, yeah, still looking at the... Those are... Nope, that's a cannon. I think we need three together. Yes, I just almost grabbed the wrong icon. Uh, and I'll go ahead and stick those uh, steps back in the chat as well. And we need to start thinking about this. Not that it matters, because we don't know much about them, but uh, what we're putting out there essentially is like the Gordon, Gorgon's Blind or the Mayflower Van Time or the Princess Bruise line. Right now, it probably doesn't matter. Or we're uh, putting, uh, for instance, uh, Conrad's uh, ship. Uh, I can't remember which one it was, but I thought it was pretty good. As those engines, these are actually... Um, it, part of the snub fighters we're bringing together next card flip and it goes over to um, uh, tony would you like to read a seven for us please sure why not seven next section is classified upload your dd214s and i'll confirm need to know success for a clue or tactics pip regardless if courage suit is artifice the dauntless perisher loses a swaggering from borrowed components condition ee suit c cubed which is p difficulty 12 advantage skill protocol and uh, I am not, uh, I mean, it is not a, an artifice card. So do you have EE suit? Uh, I do have a EE suit C cubed. Go ahead and um, uh, attempt that roll. Unfortunately, I do not have um, the skill protocol. Okay. Not one of the is, ones I picked up. Is this a time to be fierce and add two to your dice roll? or? 
No, no. it's which one is spirited it would be. Yeah. Um, so dice rolls. Here we go. A 12. There you go. 12 it is. 12. Go ahead and pick up a, either another booster or another gun or another uh, okay. ablative and uh, continue to build our ship. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Step 20. Epoxy dowels on joint E through F. While balancing chain D, step C, apply forward ablative liberally, save your bacon. Okay, well, let's, let's start putting some uh, ablative very liberally. Before Tony does that, I, here's a weird question. Yes. So step one is Ben Cotter pin between booster A, booster B, booster C, which is what we've done. We've placed three boosters and, and, um, and have done that. Tony has skipped, skipped to step C and is applying a forward ablative liberally. Do we need to ask the ref if we have to place a token at this point, or is this where we do a suit skill action, something like, you know, extruding nozzle to fasten those three engines together before Tony starts adding um, shielding? Well, I'm going to first assume, I'll answer part of that question. Uh, by putting the, sh the uh, ships next to one another, uh, they're, they're being fastened together probably by the robots. So I would not worry about that, that you actually have to add an uh, extruding nozzle to them to glue them together. But okay. on that last action, uh, Tony, you either picked up a tactics pip, which gives us all plus one in the continuing table, very, very nice, or a clue, which would allow you to ask a question of which I will answer honestly and also elaborate on. So which would you like, the clue or the plus one tactics pip? I think the tactics pip right now. I would say that probably would be a better one to get is right now. Because this is, the, as you've seen from the last uh, four card flips, it's not very good. Now, Mike, um, the instructions are that if you have any problem, you're going to contact the manufacturer or and not the sales rep. Did you want to uh, uh, use an ability to contact the manufacturer instead to get more information? Um, I do not think I would be the character to do that since, you know, I'm a timer. <laughs> I have lots of shooty, shooty skills. Then here comes uh -huh. the next card flip, and then we can decide as we go around the table. Oh, wait. It's a, well, wait, it's is a, it a journeyman? Would it be a journeyman cartel <coughs> constructed vehicle? These are journeyman uh, cartel constructed or just sold? It it probably has some sort of affiliation to the journeyman cartel. If you, if we win the battle, they'll take credit for their design. Uh, if we lose the battle, they would probably say it was all Skymerian parts. Well, I have a journeyman proxy. That's probably the only thing I have that would make sense for really contacting yeah i'll let it go for now okay and so we got uh um i flipped a two and the two is uh i'll read it out sorry i have to put you on mute for a sec hey boss looks like another battle bond squad is m-i-a k-i-a m-o-u-s-e a fail completely in party is pin regardless if the card suit is intrigue or artifice it is neither one character at random is k-o-m-i-a for the rest of the run of this table a tin head military grade. Does anyone have tin head military grade? We'll start with me. And I do not have the military grade tin head. And do I have savvy of G? I do not have savvy of G. So I will not risk the ship. I cannot do this. Laura, do you have tin head military grade? Or in your case, it would be funky have power G. Uh, no, I have uh, the savvy. You That's have the savvy good. though. The savvy, um, gosh, point of order. Mike, do you think? Yeah, we'll uh, count it. Because yeah, it is covering I mean, the tin head. Yeah, uh, it is covering the tin head. Even though it says that she would treat it as funky power, correct? Not EE suit, right? Um, and uh, you can't use savvy to cover funky powers. Oh. I don't have EE suit either. Why don't we give it to her and that'll be the way we'll play from here on sure. out? Okay. Uh, Laura, give me a nine on two dice, three dice if you're a fusilier. I am not. Okay. Oof. Ouch. Uh, Laura didn't make the roll, but let's move around the table. Uh, Mike, do you have tin head military grade, or it would be your EE suit? I have suit. EE suit incendiaries, but I do not have fusilier, but I get to roll twice because I'm level five, and it's only Nine, on two dice. And you've made it. Mike, go ahead and pick up a piece of the puzzle and put it into the uh, table. Boy, I really wish Tony had put that uh, shield one hex farther south. 
You can always uh, move. Uh, you can always move things around later. But the whole thing. Well, I would guess I was. My theory was kind of making it a, a, a triangular formation. Again, looking back at the IKEA instructions, configuring column three, triangle if, three, row three. Now that three, would be your action, Mike. If you wanted to move that, or you can put another piece into the puzzle. All right. Um, no, I can I'm, tell you right now that if we get to a point where we have to take an action against the uh, the crow cloning ships, uh, we do not have a single gun on this super ship we're making. So it would be. Very tough for us to, to damage anything. Okay, well, I'm We're thinking that we, I'm thinking that we need a three, two, one to begin with. So I'll just drop in the two, and then um, I'm, I, this is going to be a temp thing. But you know, my guess would be that we'd want to stick a cannon there. Um, yeah, I'll do uh, that. But yeah, there you go. You're just demonstrating what, what, what you think we should do. Right. Flipping another card because we're still actually actively uh, building our ship here as the uh, the crow are slowly aiming on us. An eight. And uh, Laura, you may read that eight if you would for us. I think several pages of the instructions are missing or were stapled together. Fail completely and random player suffers vicious wound. Regardless, if card suit is commerce, is it? No, it is not. Yay. Um... <laughs> Condition, savvy gun, honcho, difficulty 11, advantage, uh, S -K. Engineer. Okay. So uh, are you uh, an N, a gun honcho, or do you have the N um, uh, funky power? Uh, I am an engineer. Do I have... Ah, telekinesis. Ah, telekinesis. Yes, I do have that. Uh, glorious. Give me a roll of an 11, unless you're an engineer, make it three dice. Yeah. Three dice. Three dice. Oh, oh, and I needed all it. three of those. All three dice. And Laura, you may pick up a piece of the puzzle and put it in. By the way, we're forgetting we have a tactic pit, guys. We're at plus one on it. Oh, right yeah, now. that's right. Plus one. Thank you, Mike. Keep us honest. Oh, I'm thinking I shouldn't move a piece of shield there, Mike. Uh, I... Okay, so based on the IKEA instructions, and again, I'm assuming that those are accurate. Shield second, and it said to cover lots right. and lots of shield. It could be, but then it's also a range, right? That a range, column three, row three, triangle three, makes almost makes me feel like it should have been a yeah, three, three, three will work. I was thinking a three, two, one. Or a four. Yeah, you could do that. Four shield cover, or maybe a gun goes there. Kind of a wedge, kind of a wedgy shape. Yeah. If you were grabbing them, I'd put them there for you. Did we get that uh, extra piece in there? Did I miss that? Uh, yeah, she put in a third shield. Okay, I'm going over to the next card flip. And how about a maiden card? Another, gosh, another Bane. I don't think we flipped a face-up card. Maybe once. Uh, go ahead and uh, post that and read it, Mike. Don't be a sissy. Get in there and get your nails dirty. Unless you're one of the races that don't have nails. Optional. Success to declare, build phase finished. <laughs> or gain command pip. I think we would take the command pip. Regardless, is the card suit politics? Uh, the, it is not. Commerce again. Condition, EE -E suit, uh, vice grips, J. Regardless, Keimer and Cruz are not allowed to attempt this role. Difficulty 11, skill colonist. Uh, I cannot attempt this role. Again, this is optional, but if we succeed, we get a command pip. So. It's going to be up to Laura, because Laura, I think, is our only non-Cruz uh, and Keimer. So, Laura, do you have EE suit vice grips? None of the Terrans are here I today, are they? We have Terrans, too. Yeah, but they're not here today. No. We don't have... Uh, no, uh, no Conrad, no Rusty, and uh, no Fred. I think I do. Jay. At least nothing bad I happens have, to us. I have us. vice grips at Glorious. No, well, it, nothing bad happens as whether or not we can place another piece. Uh, a device uh, grips a J or the uh, funky power equivalent or your savvy equivalent of J. Have <laughs> I have Terrific. A a Three guy. dice for an 11. No, she's not a. Not I'm, a I'm sorry. Uh, you get to roll two dice for an 11. Two dice um, for, no, I, I, two I, dice I, for I 10. Just I missed think. it. So we did not get to place a piece, but we did not, uh, we did not end up uh, being forced to fight. And here comes an ace card. And this one will be for you, Mike. Go ahead and read it out. Okay. An ace. Good for you. I see you have Moxie building your own star cruiser from recycled parts. Optional success to declare build phase finished. We aren't going to do that yet. Or gain command pit. Regardless, a random player gains the fury pit. 
Uh, ah. I'll roll for that. Uh, condition EV suit hydraulic press. I the twenty seven advantage skill jetpack. I do have hydraulic press and jetpack, so I will just roll two dice for a six twice. Uh, Mike, you also have the fury at the moment. Oh, okay. Then, uh, then that six uh, succeeded by a higher margin than I thought. And uh, you may I'm decide. Muted. You may decide to try to fire on the yeah, crow ship with this the configuration. With this configuration. But we don't but have a cannon yet, so I would rather do that. Okay, and flipping another card as we build our Death Star, an eight, and this one goes to Greg uh, Morrison. Well, now there's two Greg, so pick one, not Morris. But uh, Greg uh, Squires, right. we got you in the game. You're slowly adding. Yes, I. Um, uh, let's see. At least Skype yet. Hey, uh, Morrison, haven't talked to you in a while. Hope everything's going well. Yeah, um, yeah and he's well. I am looking. Um, go ahead and read that out for us, Greg Morrison. You get it. Okay. I think several pages of instructions are missing or are stapled together, fail completely, and random player suffers vicious wound. Regardless, if card suit is commerce, the Dauntless Perisher loses a swaggering from the borrowed component. Condition, savvy gun honcho, and difficulty at 11. Advantage, skia? Skill, uh, advantage skill engineer. engineer. Thank you. Um, so uh, are you a gun honcho and, uh, Greg? Just checking... Uh, in gun honcho, indeed I am. Terrific. So give me uh, two dice for an eleven, unless you're an engineer. Then you'll roll three dice. Uh, I'm not an engineer, am I? I mean, you wouldn't no, expect no. it from Cruz. No. Yeah. All right. Two dice of an eleven, and then get do we get we do we still have a, a pip of some sort? Uh, we have a yes. We have a pip, pip of plus one. That is correct. All right. Well, there's my first fail. <laughs> And there's a 10. Missed it by one, but we're going to go over to uh, Tony. Are you gun honcho, Tony? I, I, I'm, we, we may be muted. We're not hearing the oh, indeed I oh, am. I apologize. I, <clears throat> no yes, need I to muted. apologize. <clears throat> Sorry, no, excuse me. Um, yes, I am a gun honcho. A gun honcho. Give me a 10, or if you're also an engineer, give me three dice for a 10. And did I pick up engineer? No, I didn't pick up engineer. Okay, I'm two dice of a 10. Um, yeah. There you go. Second time. And you have done so. So go ahead and pick up a piece and put it into the puzzle. And also with that eight, uh, yeah, we did not fail for a vicious wound. Okay. He's got, he's got good kitty. Okay. And we're going to go on to continue to flip. And it is a seven. And I'm going to, Greg, are you in the game yet or not? Greg Squires, you're asking? Yes. Uh, Greg Squires, if you're in the game, and do you have a character? Yeah. Uh, I know. <laughs> and things are still loading. I don't believe I have a character. Um, have I been with Ariton before? I don't think so. Don't if your character uh, would be at the top, if it's if there's one up there, uh, I, somebody would have, have I to adjust the thing. For, I'll go ahead and read this for... one. Next section is classified. Upload your DD-214s, and I'll confirm your need to know. Success to gain a clue or tactics pip. We don't get double tactics pip, so we probably would take the clue. Regardless if the card suit is artifice, it is. The Dauntless player sure loses a part. I apologize for that, folks, but I say that we definitely needed to take the optimal power off of the Dauntless Perisher in order to make our uh, our, our mini ship uh, work. Now, do I have EE -E suit C cubed? I'm looking. EE -E suit C cubed? I most certainly do. A roll of an 11. Am I protocol? I may be protocol. Is that something that a DOC would have? No. And much to uh, Conrad's chagrin, it is not on my goal list either. So let me roll two dice here and see if I can make a roll of an 11. Look at that. I roll early and roll well. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a piece. And did you guys want me to finish, uh, follow the same suit and make a 3 3 3 columns? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, three, three, three columns. And so we have our 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 ship with uh, nine components. And uh, let me see if we can post that again. Um, Scotty, don't be a bad kitty. 
We'll find it. Here it is. And it says that uh, a Ben Cotter pin tween booster A to booster B to booster C. Okay. Mm -hmm. Epoxy dowels on joint EF while balancing chain D. Not sure what that means. Apply forward ablative uh, liberally. Uh, might save your bacon. Uh, I would probably ask uh, the group, does it seem like we've applied we've applied a forward ablative pretty well, but did we apply it forward? Well, it's not in front of our cannon. So we, we okay. arguably, you know, we might want to put plate in front of our cannon. Right. And uh, uh, the Step Omega, uh, and Laura, I'll ask you this question. Uh, are we configured in column three, triangle three, row three? Um, we are in three rows of three right now. Okay. Yes, we are in three three rows of three. Actually, I, I think we're in. It isn't column triangle row. It's that's it's 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 row row row, which is a different game entirely. <laughs> I I we think we can add more, make it a triangle. I yeah, I think we put our pieces together incorrectly. This is way back at the beginning. When I was saying I think we're aiming for wedge shapes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, leave this at the moment of what it is and. Uh, uh, we try to fire, and we find that the ship uh, the ship is very ineffective firing in this configuration. Uh, Laura, give me a die eight roll of a one. On a die roll eight of a one, we randomly, uh, by by sheer luck, have a no. So our, our guns are sputtering. It seems like uh, you know the um, the ablative might be getting in the way of the power that is also supplied by the um, the propulsion. Now we have one clue. And I pass my clue question off to uh, Laura. Laura, if you were to ask a question about the configuration, what would you ask? Um, what? Thinking what about it, right? We let's put this in. <laughs> well, that's too general a question. <laughs> uh, should, should we keep going and turn it into a triangle shape? Uh, demonstrate what you mean by a triangle shape. Go ahead and move some of the pieces around and show me what you mean by, uh, and then I'll say whether or not that's closer to a working model. Uh, I, I was thinking. You know, Walker's you... going to come on the on the horn here and say that uh, you know this stuff was designed so that any idiot can do it. Well, how come the Battleborn guys can't do it? Wait, I think it self-answered the question. Um, well, I was thinking. Well, it'd be Adam horrible if J.W. Just... Walker showed up and said that. <laughs> well, he's there in system. He's he's he, as he would say, I'm root, I'm rooting for you. I was thinking of adding pieces, but if I put a blade of in front of the gun, will will that block them or will the no the blade of in front of the gun does not block them. Uh, for instance, if you put those two on there and you try to fire again, you certainly could fire past the blade of. That's not the problem. The problem is that uh, you've exceeded the capacity. You can only have nine modules. Oh. Okay, and now I go back into the well, room again. I'm going to flip a card. Broke. We have nine modules, don't we? Oh, we did, when, but not when Laura added 10 and 11. And uh, a maiden card, Mike. Ah. Well, we need to do you want me to read that? Switch them. Sure. We gave Laura the chance to uh, reconfigure the ship. We'll go ahead and let you re uh, roll. We've had a maiden before. Don't be a sissy. Get in there and get your nails dirty. This is optional. Success to declare build phase finished. We will not do that. Or gain command pip. We would do that. Is the card suit politics? Uh, it is not. Condition EE suit, vice grips, J. Keimer and Cruz are not allowed to attempt this role. Difficulty 11, advantage still colonist. I think this is the one that Laura has to do. This unless is Laura's Greg unless we got Greg playing a Terran. Uh, Greg Squires, I, I should say, uh, uh, Mr. Squires, do we have a uh, a character for you yet? Let's see, I do not have the oh, I do have a character. Yeah. I have participated in this before. And, yes. um, however, looks like uh, Epic Table is still, like, loading information. I have the um, freight bot escort uh, wormhole routes. Well, I, I can um, try but it. But anyways, what do I, I, I Well, I can try it. 
Yeah, yes, well, Laura, you may go ahead and try the dice. Uh, Greg, it looks like you have, at least in, in theory, a character in there. Uh, there's no stats on it. You must have your own stats externally. Uh, Laura, I need a roll of uh, 11 from you. We, we and you the... made it with the pip. Uh, yeah, we have the tackles. Oh. Uh, Laura has I, reconfigured wait. the ship with the ablative on, on front and the guns to the rear and the uh, propulsion to the very rear. This is actually a, a ship that looks like it's it's functioning because you would want your propulsion in the rear. Um, it would be extremely slow in its present configuration, and it does not fully satisfy the column three, I should say row three, well, wait, wait, let me, I, even I'm getting confused here. Uh, it does not satisfy conditions of column three, triangle three, row three. So, uh, Laura, roll me a D8 again. Look for a one. Yep. And it's a miss. The crow have fired back. So you need to avoid um, a shot by rolling a one. And so we, in essence, have had one of the ablative blown away. And I'm going to randomly uh, say uh, that one of the ships, how about the Achilles heel, is no more. I'm late, but I'm here. This is Rusty. Hi, Rusty. Uh, we, we need you because we need Terrans at times. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm going to be away from the keyboard for just a bit. That's fine. Sure. We'll see you when you come back. I'm going to go ahead and make a, uh, a scratch pad. And uh, let's see if I can do this on the map because we love the map. Uh, and if you take an item, Conrad's a lot better at doing this than me. Is it rich note text? Let's try that. A rich note text. Seems like I have a rich note text. Why did I get two rich note text? But there it is. And... Uh, I can move this a little bit if I, oh, I can even. And uh, you can see that the Achilles heel now is no more. All right, here's our ships that we're gonna be actually gonna fight with. I will erase that little drawing tool thing and uh, actually erase too much. Boy, that, that should have a, an undo function if you're gonna be able to take it away that easily here's our ships that we can build the uh the mega ship with we already fired and and we uh, had uh we had uh we lost one and i took off the achilles uh the achilles heel and uh we automatically in our inbox see that there's a notice of billing for the loss of the achilles heel i go over to um mike was the last one who uh, took a roll so let's go to uh greg greg read me an eight please you said you wanted an eight huh I gotta get to my mouse. It's the same one he had last time. <laughs> one D eight. Oh, read you an eight. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. I misunderstood. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think several pages of instructions are missing or were stapled together. Fail completely, and random player suffers vicious wound. Regardless of card suit as commerce, the Dauntless Perisher loses a swaggering from borrowed components. I am Gun Honcho. I don't have skill engineer. It would be a roll of a 10 with the tactics pip. Uh, give me two rolls. Nine, 10. Eh. Nine is there. Uh, there. 10 is made. Uh, go ahead and grab one of the components that we are missing and put it back over there. Oops, hang on. Let me look at this. All right. Well, we are missing an ablative a component. So there. And uh, that was the configuration that we determined was not fully functioning. And Rusty, and just in recap, uh, there was a group of uh, Crow uh, ships that are trying to form a larger uh, attack vessel. So we're going to counter by forming our own uh, attack vessel. Here was the instructions uh, that we were given uh, to do this. Uh, they were uh, they were precisely written by uh, uh, Mace Command uh, the, that we were going to bend a cotter pin between booster A to booster B, to booster C. We're going to epoxy dowels on joints E, F while balancing chain D. We're going to apply forward ablative liberally, and we are going to be in a configuration of column three, triangle three, row three. Do you see the six 
little pieces and the six, uh, I should say nine little pieces of our ship and the six uh, crow vessels that we're trying to fight in the middle uh, of the Friday in the park uh, map. Let, let me shrink my map here. So I see, I see six uh, red-eyed monsters. Yes, those are the crow. You actually can highlight on them and say uh, uh, crow cloning. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Crow cloning. Now, and I see. Above, okay. Just above them, you can see that the the three pieces of white Play-Doh and the three guns and the three uh, rocket motors. Yes. That's what we're trying to configure. We're trying to configure those by these instructions. Uh, the guys have already gone through uh, probably 12 cards of Q&D and uh, been successful on every roll and have uh, produced a ship that is nine. The count of the ship can be nine. That is the only set clue that we know for sure besides these instructions. You are now fully up to speed, and I will continue with, skipping Fred, Tony. Tony, here comes your card. It's a four. He is... Sorry, is there a refresh? And oh, wait a minute! I now finally have got to in the park. Final, final instructions read: Proceed 50 meters into downtown Berlin. Wait, I think that was reading from a navigation map. Failed completely, and random player suffers vicious wound. No, sorry about that, Mike. Um, regardless, this card suit is valor or fidelity. One character at random is KO MIA for the rest of this run of the table. Condition funky. It is not oh, Valor sounds... or Fidelity, and a funky power Mecromancy. Uh, Laura, do you have Mecromancy? Uh, Rusty, do you have Mecromancy? I do not. Okay. That's and tea. Laura, do you have Mecromancy? I do not. Uh, and Tom. Tom. <laughs> On the squad overview, we can use the hull integrity. Uh, doing so means that... Uh, if ship swaggering is ever used to substitute for a condition, a completely fail result in the loss of the swaggering. So we can try this by covering with our T hull integrity. And if we miss the roll, which is unlikely since we're all going to try to roll it, if we cover with T, um, we would end up losing hull integrity. Are you willing to risk uh, our hull integrity? Uh, Greg, you're in the game, right? Uh, Greg Squires. No, he stepped away. Rusty, you're uh, in the okay. game. Yes, I, I'm with it. Oh. And Give me two dice for a nine, unless you have Xeno technology, Rusty. Or Xeno psychology, Rusty. Xeno psychology is uh, what letter? In, is it's that a the skill, function? Not it's a scale. Oh, it's a scale? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, give me uh, two dice for a nine, plus one for the tactics pip. Two dice for an eight, Rusty, rolling twice. Rusty has successfully made it, so he's avoided the vicious wound for all the people in the group. And Rusty, on Friday in the park, you can see the fact that we have three rocket motors, we have three cannons, cab batteries, and we have three elements of ablative. But our configuration does not match a column three. Triangle three, row three. Would you like to please take those nine pieces and assemble them according to the Walker I key E A instructions? Okay, so cotter pin between booster A and booster B to booster C. That would be uh, three three engines together. Okay, great. We got. Engines will need to be in a line, and the guns in a triangle, and the uh, I think the shielding we have correct. So yeah, what what we said. I don't think we get to move the entire configuration, Rusty. You can. Oh, okay. we can. Yeah, Red, let me. Okay, so there's three what in a line. Okay, <laughs> and then the epoxy dolls. And balancing the chain. Let's see. So I, what do you think needs to be a triangle? Epoxy dolls on the guns, the guns need to be a, a triangle. Is what you're saying? All right. Let's That's see. What it looks like. I, I thought we needed either columns or triangles or rows, but it looks like we need one of each. And and then apply four to base of literally. Might save your bacon, stuff's 
Oh, we didn't get that third shield, did we? No, we still only have two shields. Okay. No, there's three. Uh, one got blown off. Oh no, Greg added it back. Yeah, yeah. I put one no, back. Morrison picked that one up. I went and yeah. got an extra. No, it was hidden under my character sheet for a second. Ah. Okay, so. Uh oh, split me out there. All right, I didn't see. That. So let's see. And apply the abusive. Literally, give your bacon. I don't know. In a row to shield the whole thing. All right. Are you happy with your configuration? Uh, who knows? What do you think, people? I, mm, that's, uh, Looks good we'll to me. learn something. Okay. Uh, I, so I'm looking at the, the way your engines are. And uh, I, even if you. Uh, even if you decided that you were going to, let me see if I can do this a little bit with them. Even if you decided that the engines were going to work like this. Are they three would, separate engines or three engine modules? Those are three separate fighters you're using as three separate engines, Rusty. You're building a All ship right. from nine separate little ships. You're okay. like putting nine, uh, nine different cars off a used car lot together to make a, 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 an 18 wheeler. Okay. So this is all wrong. The guns probably We're need to be in the, in the front, and the uh, engines all have to be in the back. But the anyway. gu the no. guns can um, fire through the ablative without destroying the ablative. Oh, okay. Okay, so you don't need to worry about that. But I was about to say that the way the engines were facing, it would seem like all you're going to do is spin in a circle if you follow the propulsion. But if you shift them like this, you would, you would probably move slowly, uh, and the other engines would only burn up the uh, the back engine over time. All right, let's continue with the table because, uh, oh, well, Rusty, you get to roll a die and a roll of a one, you randomly killed a, a, a crow attack ship. On a, eight, a die eight? Yep, just like we were doing last week. A six, uh, that is too high. Now you need to roll a one because our maneuverability is not too good on this, uh, this uh, 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 cog that we've created. On a roll of a one, you avoid their shot. Nope. And uh, a, and one last roll because we were always rolling threes and one last roll of a one and you uh, the ablative has protected the ship. Hey! Look at that! <laughs> we did not lose the Mayflower van time. <laughs> it's ablative held. Uh, go ahead to uh, uh, next card flip. How about a a six? And uh, I'm up to I believe uh, Laura. Would you please read us a six? These instructions were developed by morons for morons. How did you screw up? Fail completely and party shaken. Regardless of cards to the stellar void, hopefully it's not. It is. Oh dear. Then one character at random is KOMIA for the rest of the run on this table. Uh, condition that would be savvy my war. character. <laughs> of course it'll be you first. Condition it's... savvy war horse, difficulty 11 advantage skill programmer. Um. I do not have. Yeah, I have extreme novel under E, but that's the only M I have. Yeah, it doesn't cover. And I doubt I'm a programmer. Yep, no programmer. I have nothing there. Uh, okay, so no savvy yep. warhorse M from Laura. Uh, let me see if the ship itself has uh, on the squad overview uh, M. We do have matrix code, so we can cover with M, but it's a possibility we lose it. Laura, do you want to risk that on eleven or not? Uh, I can't pass well, it off. Somebody else might have it. You can, yeah, but uh, technically you we shouldn't it, come I back to you. A, uh... a Mike, do you have savvy warhorse? Nope. No. Would you like to use the ship to cover for you? No, let's see. Uh, I think Greg, do you have Savvy Warhorse? Uh, Greg Morrison. Which Greg? Uh, Greg Morrison. You, you both, both, both my Gregs are are, are spear yep. uh, are here. spear wall guys in my game. So, uh, Greg Morrison, please. Yes, I'm right here. Uh, savvy Warhorse. Savvy Warhorse. M. M. Under savvy, yeah. Under, yeah, no. Do not has. I have it when you eventually get to me. And I have it as well. Uh, 
All right. So do I just do I need to I since I don't have savvy war horse, I just can't do it, right? Unless you wish to use the ship and possibly damage the ship. Uh, do we need to do that? I think people have it, so I'd say don't use the ship. Skip from Greg. How about Tony? Tony, Savvy Warhorse. I do have Savvy Warhorse. Give me a roll of a 10. Give me a roll on three dice if you have Programmer. Unfortunately, I ended up taking um, uh, Psych Warfare instead of Programmer. <laughs> that may come in handy. I hope so. Here we go. Oh, that's not good. And no. <laughs> a seven. No, I failed. Uh, Greg Squires, does your uh, character have the uh, savvy swaggering trait Warhorse M? I do not. Um, I'll let Rusty do it. I don't want to risk the ship. Comes over to me. Do uh, I'm actually M I A K I A K O for the rest of the mission? All right, Rusty, do you have a savvy Warhorse? I do. Okay, so go ahead and give me a uh, a roll of an eleven plus one for the tactics pip. Are you also a programmer? I thought you were. No. I'm not, nope. and I failed. You failed. Failed completely. Party is shaken. We are now minus two plus one. Shaken will only last next round for people that are fierce, but it will be uh, permanent for everyone who is not. The way we can get out of this is there are results that say end this table, which would also add me back into play on, for instance, a knight card. Uh, optional, go right to go end now and go right into a combat phase. But I will go with uh, uh, over to next card flip. Here it goes. It's a knight. Look at that. Speak of the devil and devil comes. A uh, good show. Root and toot. All that jive. Now consider active field testing. Fail completely and run out of time. Optional. End right now and go into combat. We are going to end right now and go into combat to get me back into play. And also we want to eliminate that shaken. So let's not even worry about rolling survivalist and whether or not we have tin head sparks odor free. I'm going to go over to uh, 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 Laura. Although I've had Laura give it a shot. How about Tony? We haven't really heard from Tony yet. Tony, would you please reconfigure all nine pieces of the ship? Because mm, this one didn't work, huh? Well, this one, okay. well, it does work. Because remember, Rusty uh, was successfully did a maneuver with it. So good for him, right? <laughs> but it, it was the not at the, 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 the correct it's not going to give us a better version well. of ones. Okay. Let me see. I th it has to be a row, a triangle, and a column, huh? It does. So. Well, I, no, I think you got those reversed it or not. Let me. It has to be a column, a triangle, and a row. Okay. How about that? How about that? The, um, the row row probably needs to go across the triangle, but anyway. Yeah. That is actually a functioning thing, although we're all getting quite dizzy because we're upside down. <laughs> But what is upside down when it comes to the uh, the gravity? Uh, space. Yeah. Uh, well, there's actually no gravity in space, but the ship itself will have you know an ability to slowly rotate to give us some you know sense of non vertigo. And you have uh, essentially inverted the ship, but that is effectively a column followed by a delta triangle followed by three layers of ablative liberally applied so that you only lose one layer at a time. Good job, Tony. You may check an ignoble for that. <laughs> and anyone surviving the table, I think, should check and ignoble for this. I'm going to take cunning ploys. I but have, you know, uh, yeah, cunning ploys and ingenuity. Table, so. I will take my ambition and cross it off. Now, I will also go with ambition. If you would please, uh, Tony, uh, we're going to go around the table starting with Tony. You have uh, six. Uh, nine different ships there. Does everyone see the Don Wanderer? Uh, Don a Wanderer. note card that I put up. Oh, yes. oh okay. Yes, it's um, the top it's one. Dawn. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, Tony, uh, you are going to put uh, piece A on the board. What is piece A? Is it the Don Wanderer? Is it the Mayflower Val Van Time? Is it the Royal Oak? What, what is piece A, please, for me? 
Um, let's say, uh, is it on only picking out of those three or I, um, I would say it's the Royal Oak. Okay. It is the, uh, the Royal Oak. Uh, it's a Royal Oak. Uh, thank you. And now, uh, piece B, I go over to, uh, Greg. Yeah. I have a quick interruption. Um, for the ignoble, uh, so think... forgive me. Go ahead. Uh, whoever was interrupting, go ahead and say. That's Morrison. Um, the, for the ignobles, did you say only Tony could check cunning ploys or? Uh, only Tony really should check cunning ploys. Right, right. I, all I've got is cunning ploys, growth, and publicity. I don't know that any of those really fit, so. You could take publicity if you want. That nah, sounds good. Yeah, you're fighting in a major battle <laughs> against the crow in a ship that's upside down. The, the home audience is loving this. You've inverted the ship like that uh, movie with uh, Denzel Washington. Uh, uh, we're going to go on to uh, uh, Greg. Greg Squires, would you please uh, pick a, uh, a a small fighter that is going to be in position B? This position a small fight firepower. position B. So, uh, Greg, if is you the don't first know, number firepower? First, yes, the first number is firepower. So you want a high high firepower ship. So terrible digest looks like uh, about as high polish. as we could get. Look at Royal Oak Polish. What? Royal Oak didn't, Polish didn't Tony just? 7, 7, 7, 7. Oh, did he use that from an? Yeah, uh, but didn't, the, uh, the Royal Oak is already part of the ship as A. The Terrible is now in the uh, position B. Rusty, pick a position C, please. Oh, uh, let's see. I think, I think we'll take the Monitor plus the Virginia. Monitor plus Virginia. And uh, I go to Laura. Would you please give me a position D on our vessel? That's a death hate boat. Death hate boat. And uh, would you, uh, and uh, Laura, unfortunately, as soon as you put that in, your funky powers start to say that was got to be the worst possible pick for position D on the table that I'm looking at, besides the repulse me not. So I, uh, I'm going to go uh, on to uh, you. Just you feel that hunch as uh, you as my as you see Mike put that in place. Uh, Mike, uh, would you please pick pick position E after you've put the wrong piece in position D? So it sounds like position D wanted to be the industrial, which is that fourth number, and Das Hate Boat has the one in the fourth digit. Uh, are you uh, yeah. are you going to uh, uh, sit here and argue over it? Or are you going to put your P PC in after you've uh, screwed up piece D, uh, Keimer? I I would rather replace piece D. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but you don't have the hunch. Okay, fine. Oh well, then I guess I can't do diddly squat. Um, I, I tell him about my hunch. <laughs> okay, and then next round we can reconfigure. But uh, uh, Mike, would you please pick a uh, piece E for me? Uh, PC, Giles on Joint E is not one of the... Okay, I think that still needs to be one of the high industrial ships. Let's go with... Uh, main versus Poughkeepsie. Main via Poughkeepsie. Uh, the, uh, the Poughkeepsie. The Pew ship. And uh, would you, uh, Greg Morrison, would you please pick a ship for position F? Position F, how about the Lepanto? And, and we have that, and uh, I then have G, H, and I. We've all put in one piece. Uh, G, H, and I, I'm going to just randomly say, is the Don Wanderer, the Hydra, and the Lusitania. Does anyone uh, disagree with my uh, assessments? Yeah, okay. Those are threes and fours. You could have picked worse. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> uh, we go into battle, and I, I do some quick calculations, and I go, uh, A, B, and C, uh, uh, that, uh, that has a problem. Uh, and it's not a maximum configuration, but, you know, it's, it's not terrible. Uh, unfortunately, the, the Royal Oak and the Terrible Digest since they're straight across the board, you're not getting a whole lot of clues from them on which of the of the four stats was best. Do you follow? Yeah. Okay. 
Um, and oh, uh, the the D E N F. Uh, you couldn't you couldn't have picked. It, it would be really tough for you to pick worse than the D E N F that you uh, that you have configured here. And so let me see if my my calculations here are correct. Um, yeah, you're still a one on firepower. And a G, H, and I, you know, not a bad job on G, H, and I, I will say that. Let's go into a round of combat. And uh, before we can go into a round of combat, this is our battleship. If we want to change it, we have to go back in the previous table looking for the option to end combat and end again. Um, I will let uh, Tony be the first person to try to roll a one or tell us we're going to go back Great. to the drawing board. I have the option of rolling a one on fire because the firepower is a one or going back to the drawing board. Yep, QD um, back to the drawing board if you wish. Bloody hell. Um, <laughs> let's... You, you, the configuration is perfect. You just have the wrong ships in the different slots. All right. Um, let's, I will, try, oh gosh, I don't want to go back to that damn table. Oh, let's go back to the damn uh, drawing board. Okay, here comes your card for the group. It is a two, Mike, if you'll do the honors. I do. Sorry, uh, I, I sure. put uh, you on mute for a sec. Hey, boss, looks like another Battleborn squad is MIA, K-I-M-O-U-S-E. Failed completely in party pin. Regardless, the card suit is intrigue or artifice? Is it? Uh, um, it is not artifice? intrigue or artifice. Okay. <laughs> Condition in head, military grade G. Difficulty nine, skill, fusilier. Uh, let's see. Do I have military grade of a G? I do. It's even locked as glorious. And am I a fusilier? I'm not a fusilier. I am. Do we still have the the plus? We one? do not. We have lost our tactics pick. Okay. We've lost our our shaken. We are. And I am back in from KIA. I, I, so I brought, a, enter, if we I brought bucket else, chicken back with me. Too. Uh, Tony, you have successfully made the roll. That does not get us out of the table, but it does allow me to do this so that we no longer are vomiting in our suits from being upside down. And then after we get out of the table, I'll allow you to put different ships into different slots. The next card flip by go. And uh, Rusty, if you would do... Oh, uh, Greg Squires, forgive me. that, and, and thank you for playing tonight. Uh, would you like to read us a seven, sir, when it comes into chat? That is fast. Uh, next section is classified. Upload your DD214s and I'll confirm need to know. Success for a clue or tactics pip. Regardless, if card suit is artifice, then the Dauntless Parish. That's all I got there. Dauntless yep. Parisher um, loses a swaggering from borrowed components. Uh, condition E suit C cubed, difficulty 12, etc. Uh, if you just slightly adjust the width of your text field, Greg, it'll probably show all the missing stuff. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I did. It still won't show me the bottom line. And we now have I have seen Dauntless this before, sure. so this just uh, I, we, will, we will finish the read for you. Do you have E, e suit uh, uh, C cubed as a swaggering, Greg? All right, um, let me check on my character sheet. Incidentally, for I am a Terran, invented, spirited, zero level. I only had a few things checked off from the last time we played. And under EE suit, all I have is Vault's image, so no. What is your character's name? Bort. Bort Gusterson. Uh, 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 welcome, Mr. Uh, Cannon Fodder Bort. And we go over to Rusty. He, he Do you have the noble just for showing up in the middle of this battle. Just uh, you may check here. combat for this, I would think, uh, Greg. Uh, go ahead and uh, Greg Squires. Uh, gr uh, Rusty, do you have EE suit CQP? EE suit CQP. Uh, I do. Okay, give me a roll of a 12. Do you also have protocol? Uh, protocol is a skill. Uh, protocol is yes, a, is a skill. skill. Correct. No, I do not. So Two so dice I for 12, please. Nope. And uh, Laura, do you have EE e suit C cubed P? Nope. And I don't have the skill either. Um, either. The ship, let's take a look. The ship has P. It does have the B. I, I, the I have P. Did you wish to roll versus I, the uh, ship, uh, Laura? I have B. For 12? No, I'm going to let Mike roll. Uh, does anyone have Mike, protocol? do you have EE e suit? I have all 20 EE e suit swaggerings at this point. 
Amazing. That is a, a quite an accomplishment if we ever get into uh, calculated actions. Would you yep. like to roll a 12, please? I would love to roll a 12. I do not have skill protocol because I am a chimer. <laughs> but uh, there's a 14 for you. There you go. Terrific role to avoid. Uh, no, success for clue or tactics, Pip. Which do you want, Mike? A clue or uh, a tactics, Pip? I think I'll take the clue. I was going to say we were pretty clueless. A uh, clue. Okay. Uh, go ahead and ask me a general question. And I will also give you some clue information. Ask um, if slot A, B, and C are for engines. Actually, I was going to ask about slots D, E, and F because we know that those are the ones that the ref has said we've configured as poorly as we could have. Okay. Uh, the so, gun ports are diagram D, E, and F, but only E and F need maximum firepower. Section E and F should be matched in value. So to the, to the best extreme, you need to have positions E and F be the same fire, firepower or you get a negative result, and you want them to be your best firepower. Right so now, the best thing to get on that's going to be a five. Right now, D, uh, E, and F, the Poughkeepsie has a firepower of one, and the Lepento has a firepower of five. So when we come out of that, we want to probably at least make them five and five, if not seven and seven. Well, and I go uh, on to. Uh, we can't do a seven and seven because we don't have two ships with seven firepower. Five five is going to five five is going to be the best we can the do. Switch the hate boat with the Poughkeepsie because uh, that would make E and F both fives. Yeah. But well, we can't and, we can't do a six or a seven for firepower. We don't have the ships to do it. And five then, is our uh, five will be eight. good. I'm going to go on to uh, flipping a card for uh, the group because we're still not out of the table. And uh, I'm over to uh, Greg Morrison. Would you please read us the five? Crazy. Hey. Someone doodled all over my copy of the instructions. Half-blood prints indeed. Button up the seams in zero G. Fail completely and run out of time. Ship must endure one round of attack in present configuration. Optional. End the Q&D and get out and take your chances. Condition well, EE suit plasma torch. Let's consider Eight. that for a moment. We do have a little bit more information. We could uh, swap out some ships with our firepower and, uh, and try to start shooting. Uh, we we have a reasonable good idea that our ship with with those great um, uh, uh, propulsion, the Royal Oak and the Terrible, we're not doing too bad back there. We're just not optimized. And uh, the ablative in the front from the Don Wanderer, the Hydra uh, stumps, and the Lusitania hoax are reasonable good for absorbing damage. So I'm going to leave this up to you, Greg. Greg, did you want to jump out of uh, out of Q&D, or did you want to continue in Q&D looking for more clues? Oh, boy. So we have we rearranged We've rearranged two ships already to fix the firepower, or do we, need to, you, we still need to do that? You we have to leave. Jump, yeah, you okay. will when you, go, when you jump out of the back to the drawing board and into the tactical game. Um... Well, we have a chance to jump out with our firepower. We'll be correct as soon as we do that, or we'll have a chance to do that. That seems that is reasonable. correct. <clears throat> so I you mean, just have to think of what the past uh, events have been. How often have you seen uh, gain a clue come up versus mm -hmm. how often have you seen lose something come up and whether or not you want to jump out now and take a chance on the grand tactical or look for another clue? You know, I, I haven't paid attention to how like... often gain a clue comes up. <laughs> Sometimes it helps to listen to the other players. <laughs> yeah, Go ahead, Greg. Know. What would you like to do anyway? Uh, I think we're going to jump out. I mean, we came in here to get some more clues to fix the ship. We've fixed right, the ship. So, uh, I think the general consensus is that E, the Poughkeepsie, and F, the Limpento are not correct. What would you like to put in positions E and F? I thought we just fixed well, that. Well, Lepanto is, is a five that. on firepower, right? It is. Yeah, the Lepanto... So, the so Lepanto's fine where it is if we swap out with, what was the other one we had I, I there? I thought Mike just fixed that. Uh, well, we, we discussed it. We yeah, haven't had a chance. Oh, okay. Let's get rid of Das Boat because that was a terrible one with well, its need, one in the fourth well, no, position. We need, to move, we, need to move, we need to move Das Boat. Yeah, move it to E or F. Right. Or, okay, hold or, on. Which one is Lepanto, no, no, E or no. F? <laughs> Lepanto is F. 
what we do is we get rid of the main vehicle tipsy and we bring in Odin's acorns. Okay. Odin's acorns as well. Yeah. Uh, Greg, uh, what would you like to put in positions E and F? Give me the two ships. Two things with the first number of five. Yep. Yeah, I know. I know. So we're going to put Odin's acorns in E and Lepanto in F. Okay. That that is already dramatically improving our firepower. Now, uh, Laura had a comment, or Rusty had a comment about the Das Hate boat. Doesn't seem like it's the correct boat for that slot. Uh, Rusty Rusty, and Laura, what would you like to put in there instead? Um, actually, uh, can we, are we only switching the firepower or can we switch the, the other stuff around? Because I'd rather put raw oak polish there and have our best firepower in that spot. We can't, we have, our firepower needs to be matched. E and F have to have no, no, the same e value. And F do. We're talking about D. Well, D you could put, okay, well, D, I think we're looking at the fourth number because you put Das Hate Boat in there and that's 5571. Uh, Laura, forgive so, me, Mike, for interrupting. Laura, you don't even have to listen to Mike right now. If you want to put the Royal Oak Polish into position D, just tell me you did so. Do it. Yeah, that's that's what, okay, Mike's agreeing with me this time. <laughs> All right, uh, we got the Royal Oak in there, which brings a seven to that slot. And now I go back to Rusty. Position A on the, uh, on the engines, we don't have a ship in there yet. What would you like to put in there? Engines is the second number, correct? It pulls me not. Uh, Well, yeah, I don't, I don't uh, know what number would be engines. So uh, second one, I think. So let's just take something normal like Utopia Falcon, which is three four three four. Okay, so we're gonna put the Utopia in there, and uh, uh, let me uh, let me recalculate our maneuverability with those engines. And uh, do do we like it or not? Um, it is uh, it, it the, our maneuverability has dropped, but that could be just because the Royal was such a beautiful ship as a seven seven seven. But our firepower has our firepower has risen to six. Wow, yeah, that's good. There's balance, so we got a plus one somehow. I don't necessarily think uh, that uh, that was that, the D slot. Probably. That you're going to get even better than that uh, in firepower with the ships that we're dealing with. I'm going to start with uh, with uh, I left off with Greg Morrison. I'm going to go over to Tony because my die moves around the table. Uh, Tony, would you give me a roll of six or less of firepower to blast a piece of the crow uh, ship away? Okay. Nope. I'm afraid not. <laughs> Tony and I haven't been rolling Tony. well. Uh, Tony, uh, 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 nope, with, with, you, with you as well, would you please roll me a four, a one, two, three, or four for your maneuverability to avoid their shot back? I have failed that. And, Can I roll uh, something Tony? else bad? Uh, mm-hmm. Tony, the Lusitania is in position I. Would you please roll me a one, two, three, and four for the ablative to hold? Hey. Yes. Hey, it's a- <laughs> One out of three is not bad. There's no loss involved. I go to Greg Squires. Uh, Greg, would you please roll me a one through six on a die eight to successfully use the firepower of our configured ship to destroy one of the uh, the cloning factories? All right, here it is. Bam. Bam. And it disappears. But they are still fi- they are still firing. Uh, with their remaining ship at us, would you please roll us a one, two, three, or four on maneuverability to avoid those shots coming back at us? Me again? All right. Uh, one through four, yes. Uh, You're going to make three okay. rolls. And Greg, you did not successfully maneuver our ship, but can you roll a one, two, three, and four to absorb the blow with the Lusitania? Right there. Yeah, nope. <laughs> All right. We, we cry a bit as we see the Lusitania disappear. And I go to my little sh- chart here, and I take the Lusitania hoax off the list. Everyone I sees the remember. update. I will remember the Lusitania. I will remember the Lusitania. Rusty, would you please? Well, you have a choice, Rusty. You may continue to fight with this slightly crippled ship, uh, and you may roll me a die one, two, three, four, five, six on an eight die to destroy another piece of the crow ship, or you can uh, go back to uh, to the to the drawing board. No, we'll, we'll shoot. <laughs> and I did as well as Tony. I went ah, did as well as Tony. Yes, 
Uh, Rusty, can you give me a one through four on maneuverability, please? No, of course not. Rusty, and uh, I failed on that, so we lost another piece. And with, with without even being told, the Hydra has now disappeared. And I go to Laura. Uh, Laura, would you like to go back to the drawing board and pick two mo more ships to possibly add as ablative, or do you wish to continue to fight? Take another shot. If we lose the armor, I'll go to the table. Okay. Uh, I'll take a shot, I guess. Okay, give me a one through uh, six, please. Hey. There you go. Laura has blown off a piece of the cloning uh, master ship. And uh, would you like to, uh, when they respond back in time, would you like to roll one, two, three, and four and maneuver, please? Uh, ah! nope. And would you like to, the the Don Wanderer has a ablative protection of four. You need to roll a one, two, three, or four for it to absorb the blow. It has successfully oh. absorbed the blow. I go over to Mike. Mike, would no, you like to take a shot? Roll or a D8. Yep. <laughs> that's oh, why I'm, he said no. that was a good fake. You know, if Conrad was here, he would have applauded you for that. I hit the wrong button. Okay, I thought you did that on purpose to psych me out, but no, yeah. unfortunately, the Don Wanderer it will never fly again. Not very um, good on the that's right. That one was Mike. almost dead. Flip, Mike. Me Flip me a card. Mike, we, we have no ablative. Yeah, flip me a card. We need to do a reconfiguration. How about a on... four? How about a four? The final instructions read, proceed 50 meters into downtown Berlin. No, wait, I'm, I'm reading from the wrong navigation map. Uh, fail completely and random player suffers vicious wound. Regardless, is card suit valor or fidelity? It is not. Uh, funky Mechromancy, T, difficulty nine, advantage, skill, Xeno psychology. Unfortunately, nobody has Mechromancy. But we still have our Dauntless Perisher, which can zoom in to the rescue as we strategize aboard it. Give me a roll of a nine, Mike, on two dice, please. I can do that on my second roll. <laughs> and, and Mike, would you please Spend add me one piece of ablative? <laughs> Don't you high-level characters have make rolls? Uh, yeah, but we've burned many of them already. I'm down to one make roll. I think. Yeah, I'm I'm with you, Greg. You need to remember those uh, Greg Swires. You need to remember those make rolls. Uh, and uh, Mike, what is that ship that you put in there? Oh, for the ablative, uh, based on what's left, ablative is the third number, right? It is. Uh, monitor is monitor plus Virginia currently in use. It's in C. Then how about the terrible digest? You could put you could pull Dot's boat out yeah. and put it. The in terrible there. is in B. Yeah. Oh, uh, how about oh Titanic two Titan? No, it's the third number, right? Yeah. Yeah, Titanic two's got a great hull. That's all it's good for. Being a damaged sponge, throw a Titanic two in there. The Titanic two is now in the slot. That will keep you alive for a little while. Uh, I go. We're still on the table though until we successfully leave it. So we're still strategizing here. And I flip a card for uh, Greg Morrison to read. How about a maiden? Ah, that one's never good. Uh, let's see. Don't be a sissy. Get in there and get your nails dirty. Optional. No, that's good. Success to declare build phase finished or gain command pip. Regardless, if card suit is politics, the dauntless perisher loses a swaggering from borrowed components. Condition EE suit vice grips J. Regardless, looks like the dauntless perisher lost industrialized. Uh, All right, do you have vice grips? Politics. I do not have vice grips. Okay. And I am a crew, so I can't participate in this anyway. Let's go to our Skia and our Terran. Uh, Greg Squires, do you have vice grips? I, let me check. And you're level zero, and you don't have that ability, probably. Well, no, I did play last time, so I have a few things, but not vice grips. Okay. And you can use the ship to cover for you since the ship does have, um, no, yes, the ship does have intruder free. By using the ship to cover for you, if we all fail around the table, uh, we will not be able to, uh, uh, we will lose that ability. Do you still want to try to roll or not, 11 or not? Oh, absolutely. 
Yes, <laughs> of course. Now you're playing the game. Are you're not a colonist, are you, by any chance? Colonist, Take it for nostalgia. That, that's a skill. Skill. Um, no, I'm not a colonist. There's uh, two colonist. dice for an eleven, please. I have to flip back. Is there a convenient way to uh, get the information on a character sheet in Epic Table? Um, Greg, the character sheet uh, panel in Epic Table will save and load RTF. Uh, so if you looked at your email and saw that I sent you my character sheet template, you you know that's one of the reasons why one of them is an RTF. Or you can copy paste out of the okay. word processor directly into the panel. If you double click on the character icon, it should open up and you can just write in it and then it will save for you. Rusty, do you have vice grips? Uh, no, but I have union certified, but there's no, ex it, it doesn't work that way or, and I have recombinant for fun. Uh, yeah, uh, they, they both would work because E suit is on the bottom row. So anything can cover for it. Give me okay, a roll well, of an 11, unless you're a colonist, give me three dice for an 11. And uh, missed. So I, our, and you're level five. You roll twice, right? Right. Yeah. And missed twice, sadly. Uh, uh, Laura, do you have vice grips? I do, yes. Uh, even if you didn't, uh, we're already uh, jeopardizing the ship's uh, uh, intruder free. So go ahead and roll me two dice for an 11, please. Uh, let me see if I colonist. I do not. So it is two dice. You can make it, though. If you no, make it. not even close. I was saying make roll if you maybe if you want to consider one. We uh, we lost on our squad overview or intruder free. One day we'll have to get rid of those crow that are now in our uh, in our munitions section, and we're going to go ahead and continue on this table. How about if I get a queen for Mike? Oh. Dagger the work shift before the bell sounds for a complete break stoppage. Now for a word from our sponsor. Fail completely in party pinned, regardless if card suit is intrigue. It is not. Don't worry about it. Condition, tin head, union certified, J, which I can cover with my vice grips. Difficulty 11, skill drill sergeant. Go ahead and give me 11, Mike. I should have done the make roll. I thought about it. Uh, Mike is not. Uh, uh, we go on to Greg Morrison. Do you have a union certified J or savvy J? Ah, sorry, my mute wouldn't turn off for a second. I'm checking. Uh, I have neither of those. I go on to Tony. Do you have union certified J? Yes, I do. In fact, it is. Is it glorious? Uh... Jay, no, it's just I just have that. You, Give me yes, a roll of eleven, please. Uh, three dice for all right. Uh, if you're a drill and sergeant, and I, I am a drill sergeant. This, uh, there had to be one <laughs> in the group. There you go. Oh, but the second roll. Oh, bloody hell! No, nope. good boy. <laughs> nope. Wow, Great. that is a lot of twos. I go on to uh, Greg Squires. Greg Squires, do you have Union certified Jay? I do not. The ship. Uh, no longer has J. You haven't so, used. You haven't talked to me yet. And uh, I do not have it on my character. And we go to Rusty. Do oh, you have I, Union Certified J? I do, <laughs> and I'm just going to do a make roll. Okay, you're going to use a make roll so that we do not uh, become pinned. That's probably pretty good. Here comes our next card slot, and we got an ace. And uh, Laura, would you please read us that ace? Uh. Good for you. I see you have Moxie, build, building your own star cruiser from re recycled parts. Optional success to declare build phase finished or gain command pip, regardless of random player gain superior pip. Condition EE suit hydraulic press I, difficulty 7, advantage skill jetpack. Question before Laura makes her decision. If she chooses to gain a command pip, that command pip applies only to this table and does not apply when we go back to battle, correct? That is correct. Um, so if a random player gains the fury pip, they will lose the fury pip as soon as we go to battle, correct? Yeah, I think we want to go back to battle, though, Mike. We've got a pretty good configured ship. but uh, we, we do, uh, so the point of asking those questions was to... Was to can, can we reconfigure re them? Because I've got... We, we, we reconfigure when we go back to battle, right? We get one more addition only. So we'll have two levels of ablated. 
Mm-hmm. Unless you want to stay back in from, the drawing board to get it, you know. From Rusty's success in the last one, um, did he get to add a... Um, a that is correct, Tony. I, I, I take that of- back. So, Tony, uh, Rusty, what did you add as your ablative for H? Oh, uh, let's see here. Hey, can we uh, rearrange them? Because I've got a good arrangement. You, uh, you can when we get to you, Laura, but uh, Das Hate Boat is, uh, is, could be put in there, Rusty. Yeah, uh, yeah <laughs> the Das Hate Boat, but it's, it's uh, yeah, that would work as a seven, but we could also, yeah, we'll use Das Hate Boat. Okay, and so we're going to leave the Das Hate Boat out there as a seven, and uh, let's get back to this ace here. And uh, Mike, uh, we're it's, looking it's at, uh, Laura read this. Uh, Laura, do you have EE suit uh, hydraulic press I or an equivalent? Yes. And I have a skill jet pack. Give me three dice for a seven to get us back into battle. Is that what we want? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have pretty good armor now. And now, uh, Laura, you get to add the last piece, I. Uh, what would you like to put in as I? So Titanic being used? Titanic is the it first has been used, yes. I, I, I made my list of what would be ideal, and I have no idea what's been moved around to everything else now. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we have the Utopia Terrible Monitor, Royal, Odin, um, Pento, Titanic, Hate, and what you add now. Uh, the Dutch guy is probably the last of the best. We, we have Das Hate uh, Monitors. Plus Virginia and Titanic too, all in the. I, I think yeah, Laura's asking with the monitor can, can she... and a terrible correct. Titanic hate yes, all in there. Okay. The well, fact she... that we've got two sevens after it, we can go with a four to start. Yeah. With. Well, those were the three I had as best for GH and I. Um, yeah, but shoot. we don't really want to mess up the rest of the ship, so I would just pick the. Yeah, we, we one have of the, the ones that is isn't used. Yeah, the, well, I, I, I've still been typing out my list of what should go where, but I have it written down. Um, yeah, I think the Flying Dutch guy would actually not be that bad. It gives us a four and uh, a blade if we don't have much of an options on the blade of ones. It's like four is the uh, high right. ones I, that we have. I didn't, I didn't have that guy used, so I guess we can throw him in there. All right, the Dutch guy is up front, uh, and uh, the uh, robotic crew of it is is pre- is prepared to die in our service. Those who are about to dis- be destroyed and turned off permanently salute you. I go to the actual table. Looks like Mike. Gosh, you're up again. Can you give me a uh, one to six on firepower, please? As long as it's not me or Tony. Yeah. <laughs> There's a three. Kaboomy boom. Hey, 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 good job, Mike. And you guys look like like you know what you're doing, though, right? More or less. <laughs> Hopefully so. So what about so let's oh, see. So I, now I need to roll. What's our maneuverability? Still four. Yeah, you need to. When he shoots back. I think we need to add some more uh, firepower on the crow side. That you guys know what you're doing. Of course, reinforcements would show up because you know there were all those. Other ships that were sitting there. There's doing a nothing. second crow ship that we have to deal with. Of course there is. See, they're, they're moving far too many. <laughs> no, we didn't. Well, I moved one. I moved the extra crow, and I moved three others. I only moved three at a time. There, they already had the other uh, other half a ship, and then three ships. Maybe I moved four, but uh, they only move eight at a time. They didn't cheat. Uh, and plus, if I just undo the fog of war. I'm not actually undoing them all, but uh, you guys are in good shape. Mike, uh, give me that one to six, please. Oh, you did so, and uh, you boomed off another uh, cloning ship. And uh, would you please roll me um, your maneuverability from the first Crow cloning ship? Is a four. Is a four, yes. Okay. And uh, can you give me maneuverability from the second Crow uh, ship? Sorry, I dodged the first one and right into the second one. The second one, then, would you please give me a one to four on your ablative? Nope. Uh, we have the lost guy. the flying Dutch guy. Flying Dutch guy. Flying Dutch guy is gone. <clears throat> we kind yeah, of expected fine. that. 
Yeah, I put them and, up there. Uh, the Akak <laughs> the Ak -Ak ships, uh, some of the Akak -Ak ships in the area, we're going to go ahead and have and have some of them suicide. I'll do a two will suicide against us. Would you please, uh, Greg Morrison, would you please roll maneuver of uh, of four twice? Maneuver of four. One, one D8? Yes. <laughs> 68. Oh, there you go. One. Okay, one of them was oh, destroyed, and the test. second one, give me a bladeive of seven to survive it, please, Greg Morrison. All right, that's two of the little Akak -Ak crafts that have uh, come in attack. And we still have a half a cloning ship and a full cloning ship. I go on to Tony. Tony, would you please give me your overall firepower of a six, please? Uh, oh, gosh, okay. Hey, barely. Yes. We've almost destroyed the first ship. Would you please give me maneuverability twice from the two cloning ships? Uh, yes. One. And yes. Yes. Okay, and then that it's will a, add the cloning Tony. attack. I go on to Greg Squires. Would you please survive maneuverability of three suicide ack -Aks? That's a four uh, three times, Greg. Four Wait, three three times. Four, three times. Four, three, right. seven. It was a seven. Three One. Times, didn't it? No, it's a seven two. if he misses. Oh, two. It's, the, it's maneuverability. And this, miss the third one. And the miss one. Give me a seven to uh, to block that last ack, -Ack with the with the. Uh, uh, Hate, yeah, uh, das hate boat. Yes, there it is. And I move on to Rusty. Rusty, would you please give me a firepower of six in order to destroy uh, I'm one, not, one? I'm not very good at this. Oh, well, got it. And uh, this guy here is going to retreat to be part of the other ship. They will only return fire once on you, Rusty. Would you give me maneuverability of four once from this uh, crow ship, please? Nope, failed. And uh, would you give me a seven, Rusty, to keep from losing uh, uh, the uh, Das Hate Boat? I, I succeeded in absorbing them. Terrific. And I go over to Laura. Laura, would you please uh, respond with two maneuver rolls of four? Oh, that's terrible. Oh, made one, not the other. Okay, would you please... Uh, Eliminate, uh, uh, would you please roll a seven or less on the ablative on the one of the ones that's left? Oh. And I go over to Mike, and Mike, uh, uh, more of the map has been revealed. Wow. That's a, that's a lot of crow. <laughs> that's a lot of crow is right. Now, wow, they, they've got some cloning facilities up and running, don't they? Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> it goes on. Them. Yeah, as Laura said, we, we let them breed for two weeks. Uh, Mike, would you please roll me a six firepower to eliminate a part of the crow cloning ship? That's the main objective. You destroy yeah, that, I, the others are... I, I, I did that. There's a two... Would you please roll me a fire, a maneuverability to absorb and uh, and uh, stay avoid, uh, avoid the, the fire back? One yes, to four. I, I can do that. And Very good. That? And, and I go over to Greg point. Morrison. Greg Morrison, would you please roll me five rolls of four from Suicide Craft? Okie dokie. Dang it. Dang it. Monkeys. Oh. Uh, there we go. It's, you, you, uh, uh, you almost got all of them. And uh, one more, I believe, right? What was, oh, said, five rolls. Yes, yes. Gosh, darn it. Okay, let's hope those own, as eights don't repeat. You need to roll four rolls of seven <laughs> to save the Das Hate Boat. Okay. One, two, three, four. And we are still functioning. And I go over to Tony. Would you please roll me a firepower of six, please, to destroy part of the cloning center? And uh, oh. Tony, would you roll me a maneuverability of four to uh, avoid the crow cloning attack back? Oh. And would you roll me an ablative of seven uh, by the Das Hate Boat, please? There we go. 
Yeah, we both thought it was going to be an eight, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> and I go over to Greg Squires and Greg, would you please roll a modest uh, two attack craft coming at you? All right, no problem. One, nope. Oh. And yay, one. And would so, you please? Then, uh, uh, I, I'm sorry, those were maneuvers of four. And would you please roll a uh, a blade of seven to absorb the last suicide attack? Two, yeah. Dossier and uh, is this, doing good. this uh, uh, essentially bomb has been uh, projected into you on your ship, trying to destroy part of the engine. Uh, but we also have to. Uh, um, you know, essentially it's going to do this. It's going to blow up. It's going to take off part of the engine. And all of us have to roll an ordinary roll to avoid the vicious wound. I start with uh, Rusty. Uh, would you, or I'll start with myself. I need a roll of, I am level five. I need a roll of a 10 to avoid a vicious said, wound. Uh, so it's a difficult roll, not an out of ordinary. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a it's an ordinary roll. I need a roll of a five on two dice. Here comes my roll of five. I made it rusty. A roll of a five for you, please. Oh, I have to do two. <laughs> and uh, rusty has made it anyway. Laura, I believe your roll is a seven. Yep. Oh. Oh. Laura, you've received a vicious wound. Are you durable? Uh, yes, actually, I'm... Terrific. So you are not wounded, but you have lost your durable for the rest of this day. Mike, would you please roll me a roll of, of a five, please? Sure. And uh, Greg uh, Morrison, would you please roll me a roll of a five, please? And uh, Tony, would you please roll me a roll of a five, a six, a four for you? You're level six? Yes, yeah, he's level Sorry. six. It's a four. Give me a four, six. please. Oh, Tony. <laughs> Are we at two attempts at this? No. No, you're durable, so you've lost your durable yes. for the rest. And Greg Squires, uh, with much apologies, a, a roll of a seven to avoid the wound. Yeah, no and problem. Greg's avoid the wound. I think everyone probably should have checked something, uh, and that is an actual individual roll, so you can even check uh, your... Uh, Battle. If I can get it, your cunning ploy for that. And I will check my cunning ploy so that. Uh, can I check battle? No. Well, you'll get battle. Yeah, you can check battle, Rusty. I'll get, I'll get battle for this. This is the whole thing. Okay. So, all right. Well, you can get battle for this anyway. Okay. I'll take I'm cunning take, ploy. Uh, experiences. Which one do you all right. Experiences we, beyond cunning. Yeah, this is. Oh, I'm Laura needs a growth leader. Can, can Laura take a growth leadership? For, for something, because that levels her up. And I mean, you Yes, you Laura, I will give you a growth leadership ships. for taking that wound. I, I'm saying you were trying to comfort my character when suddenly you were rocked by the thing, and that got me back in battle. Thank you, Laura, for your growth leadership. Uh, unfortunately, we lost the Utopia, and we have a slot that's open. That is going to degradate our uh, our maneuverability down to a down to a two. Oh, jeez. All right, now we can, and I'm over to Greg Squires. Greg, you may continue this onslaught. We only have to really shoot six more of the crow cloning to win, although they're going to still be sending suicide craft at us. Or you can re-enter the table, Q and D, back to the drawing board to try to pick up another engine section. What? Couldn't we also get you know, replace our a blade of nose again? Or yes, absolutely, that is true. You know what? I think we're going to get we're already getting hammered beyond belief with the maneuverability of four. We need to get like the scorpion tailbone back in or something like that. Um, so we OK, can, so the, the call is yours, we'll, uh, uh, Greg. I All you have to do is that's, that's four. I say we go back to the drawing board because as referee Greg has said, we go back to the drawing board. Here comes your card, Greg. How about a martyr card? Oh, well, martyrs are always good. Yeah, that sounds great. Mortar, wait, I skipped a step or erroneously jumped ahead. Yes, human error is blamed on the report. Fail completely and random player suffers a vicious wound. Regardless, if card suit is fidelity, the dauntless perisher loses a swaggering from borrowed components, condition, funk. And that's Funky all Funky power precondition, Greg. And also it's a difficulty of 14 advantage bureaucracy. It's a tough one. So <laughs> do you have, uh, you do not have, have, Funky power precondition F, I take it. Or no, do I do not. Okay. Nope. 
the ship does not have flawless sensors anymore, so it cannot cover. So I'm going to skip you for the moment. I cannot uh, take an action. Rusty, do you have yes, a funky I power? have funky power precondition. Do you have a make roll, sir? And I do have a make roll. I would say this may be make roll time since we have a 50-50 chance of killing uh, Laura here. Yeah, no, I think uh, we'll use a make roll. All right, Rusty, when you make roll, you also get to add a ship to our mega ship. Would you you like to add something to the engine section, or would you like to add an ablative? Um, No, I'll add something to the engine section. Pick me an engine uh, section with a good maneuverability, please. And the maneuverability is the, what, the second number? It is. All right. Let's see. Um, we lost the monitor of Virginia, right? You lost a four. If you replace it with a four, you go back to a four. How about the repulse me knot? Uh, the repulse me knot to seven. We can use, yeah, if we could do that. Repulse with a seven. That actually makes us a uh, a five maneuverability net. If if uh, by the rules by the rules I'm going with, if the repulse and the monitor were both the same number A and C, you would not be suffering the minus one penalty. Otherwise, you got a seven, a six, and a five. That averages out to a six. Minus one is a five. That's how I'm doing my equation here, for in case you're wondering. But we improved our maneuverability by bringing the repulse me knot in. Good, Good move, Rusty. And uh, we can then go on to second card flip. We're still in our table. How about a seven being read by Laura? Uh, next section is classified. Upload your DD to 14s, and I'll confirm need to know. Success for clue or tactic fit. Regardless if Card suit is artifice. Hopefully not. Um, the Dauntless character would lose a swaggering from borrowed components. Condition E suit CQB difficulty 12 advantage skill protocol. Um, I don't have any keys, but I'm still doing my level up stuff. <laughs> I don't have skill protocol either. Anyone who does have a P? I have C cubed. I do not have protocol. I have a bunch of P's, including uh, Generalissimo and open source. If you wish to skip while you do your level up, uh, Laura, if we still need that roll at the very end, I'll let you be the last player. Okay. Mike, uh, why don't you do uh, your C cube roll, please? Oh, well, then since she's the last player, I'll let her decide whether or not to use the make roll. Uh, What am I looking for, a 12? A 12. No go. No go for 12 from Mike. How about Greg Morrison? Do you have CQP? Oh, any, it's unlikely. Any <laughs> CQP. You are level five. You got to have something in there. No, I don't. A- any P's would cover that if you have them, Greg. No P I'm roll? Looking, I, don't have, I, I do not have any P's. Okay. No P's, no mashed potatoes. Tony. Yes, CQ for One you, sir. That. I do have C cubed. Give me a roll of 12 to pick up the tactics pip. Um, just to pick up the tactics pip? No, nothing bad if I fail? N- well, nothing bad if your fail is correct, except we do not get to place our ablative. Oh, well, that's actually important. We want to do that, that too. Um, let me... Heck, I'll, I'll make the roll. Okay, Tony has made the roll. Thank you, Tony. And uh, you may place the ablative. Uh, we have the Repulse, Terrible Monitor, Royal Odin Lempento, Titanic, Hate, and Dutch Guy. We need to, uh, we lost the Dutch Guy that we need to replace. So what do you want to put in for the Dutch Guy instead? Um, I. Best ablative. Best ablative. Uh, the Scorpion Tailbone, it looks like. Right. Scorpion That's tailbone kind of, is a four. We're looking at things that are not being used yet. Yep. Okay, yeah. and our ship is almost fully configured. In fact, it is, and it is well, actually configure. pretty good. And I go on to the card flip. The card flip to get us out of the table is an eight. Will an eight do it? It probably will not. Would you please read that for us, Greg, when it is posted? Um, my Greg? Yes, I'm sorry, Greg Squires. <laughs> You right. know, I'm always assuming when I look at my page that I know that uh, Tony, uh, uh, yeah, Greg Squires, you're after Tony, and Greg yeah. Morrison, you're after Mike, if uh, if I don't uh, enunciate correctly. 
All right, I think several pages of instructions are missing or stapled together. Fail completely and, ran uh, and random player suffers a vicious wound. Regardless if card suit is commerce, the Dauntless Perisher loses a swaggering from borrowed opponents. It is not. Okay, condition savvy gun honcho. Do not have that. Difficulty 11, advantage. Engineer. All right, no gun oh, honcho oh. for Greg. Let's see if the, the squad uh, overview, if we have an N on the ship. We sure do have crew unshackled, Greg. You may go oh. ahead and try to roll that. All right. Uh, Give me an 11 on two dice, please. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Tony actually gave us the, the tactics pip, I believe, right? Uh, so we're going to yeah. go ahead and take plus one with the tactics pit from Tony. I skip myself. Rusty, go ahead. He's already made it. He made it with a 12. Um, fail roll completely. Okay, thank you, Rusty, for keeping me honest. How about if we go, Rusty, would you read us a three, please, when it's posted? A three? A three, Mike. Thank you. Hey, I don't think we've had a three yet. Next section, tab simply says best guess, optional success to declare build phase finished or gain command pip regardless if the command suit is politics or commerce one character random is knocked out or rest of the run on the table condition ee -E suit extruding nozzle m, m. and i have warhorse so uh, give me a roll of a 13 are you a scientist am i a scientist uh i am not okay so uh, give me a roll of a 13, please. Plus one for the tactics, Pip. A roll of a 12. Rolling twice. I go to Laura. Do you have uh, extruding nozzle M or an M that you can cover with? I have extruding nozzle. Um, give, uh, give me a roll of a 12, please. Let me see if I have scientists. No, I do not have scientists. So two dice. And uh, uh, you did not make the roll, unfortunately. Mike, do you have extruding nozzle M? I do have extruding nozzle M. You have all of them. Give me a roll of a, a, a 12, please. No one to hold them, no one to fold them, no one to roll the die, no one to do that. Ooh, okay. And uh, we have entered battle again. I start with Greg Morrison. Greg, you have a firepower of six. However, there's a section of the crow uh, uh, ak ak, which is assembled in front of you, a, a set of six. Those are all going to hit your ablative. You can fire past them to kill the main ship. That's our objective. Once it's gone, the ak ak will either turn off or self destruct or flee. Or you can fire right now to eliminate six of the ak ak in front of you. I do not automatically replace them. I'll replace them every other turn or every third turn. So do you want to fire at the at the uh, uh, coupling of the six, or do you want to fire past it at the crow main ship? Yeah, we can't we can't destroy the crow main ship in one shot, and we lose all. I think we lose all of our ablative if these guys hit us. Well, and our ablatives are pretty good. Oh, really? We could easily, we'll lose the, at least one ablative. We probably, okay. on average, would lose one ablative. Give me a roll of a six to destroy that squadron of six, then, Greg. All righty. And that is a tremendous shot over the bow there. And uh, I go on to uh, Tony. Uh, would you please defend against uh, three ships coming over the side with maneuverability times three, which is a five? That's one. That's two. That fought me. That's three. Good and job, I skip myself. Uh, Greg Squires, would you please fire maneuver uh, firepower of six to destroy the front of the crow vessel? Four. There it goes. And would, when it returns fire back, can you roll maneuverability of five to dodge? Uh, how many times? Uh, just oh, the once. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you have, so they did not hit you back. I'm going to move it just a little bit closer as a unit. It says it was getting too hot toward the sun. I go over to uh, Rusty. Rusty, would you please roll me a firepower of six? Made it. Right on the top. And would you uh, roll a five maneuverability to avoid the shoot back from the crow vessel? Fail. Would you roll me a, 
a, a blade of a four to absorb the blow. And you will absorb the blow. Laura, would you please roll me two attacks maneuverability five to avoid the suicide ships? One, two, Good job, Laura. And Mike, would you fire firepower six against the crow? Kablam. And would you roll me uh, maneuverability of five, of five to avoid the shot back? Nope. And would you roll me in a blade of a four to absorb the shot back? Nope. And we have lost, unfortunately, the scorpion's tail. Bone. Look, I'm a climber. It's not fair if we finish this battle with an undamaged ship. I think we've lost a little bit more than just uh, an undamaged ship. Uh, I go on to <laughs> uh, Greg. Greg, would you please ship. roll me a we firepower of six? Um, well, that didn't work. Roll me a, would you please roll me a maneuverability of five to avoid the fire back? Well, that didn't work. Oh, would you please roll me a seven or less to absorb it with the hate? That's hate boat. Well, that didn't work. Oh, oh, oh. Greg. <laughs> lost Greg that's hate boat. Oh, my God. Nobody Please. pulled my dice and they're supposed to roll low. I'm used to rolling high. You're you're uh, you're making some beautiful eight rolls. I've, I it's um it's amazing. It's taking my breath away. I go on to Tony. Tony, I got a total of four suicide attack vessels coming at you. Maneuver of five times four, please. Maneuver of five. Okay. <clears throat> no on one. Yes on two. Yes on three. No on four. So the two of them got Let's through. Roll a a blade of seven twice, please. Blocked one, blocked two. And that takes us through Tony. Greg Squires, would you please roll me a firepower of six to destroy one of two sections of Crow to win the game? Blam. That was good. Blam. Very well done. And can you roll maneuverability of five to absorb its fire back? Five. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And I go over to Rusty. Can you roll me a roll of six or less to win the game? Probably not. <laughs> oh. oh, barely. Can we say woohoo? Woohoo. All right. I would like to check in over for that. Like publicity fame. Actually, I went up a level, so I'll just go ahead and say I went up a level and continue to go up a level with that. Um, I, and for anyone else, it 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 could be heroics. Uh, it is probably judgment the many times that we been, went back to the drawing board rather than uh, um, continue to fight with a crippled ship. Uh, publicity for winning this battle in this solar system. Uh, it is uh, it is not cunning ploys, but it is experiences beyond comprehension that we defeated two cloning platforms. Is that to cover everyone or does anyone else have any ignobles that they would like to ask about? I take that as a solid no. Uh, where, what system are we in? I've forgotten. Uh, the name of the system, Mike, is... I'm going back to the top. We're not in Taka. Did we go to... Wait, Wormhole Roads. Nope. I think it's... It, this, was a, this, was a, this was a detour, and it was Binary Star Epsilon Catastrophe. <laughs> which I think was renamed uh, Conrad's World. I like her duty roster. Complete, failed, failed, and active. <laughs> and with that said, one, two, three, go. I'm going back to the reinforcements. Uh, uh, La Certe Ignoramus. And we're going to go over to the uh, the La Certe Ignoramus um, main map. I, I, should I hit the uh, the focus on that, or can you guys find it in your tabs? Uh, I have duty roster squad overview Friday Mintaka wormhole routes reinf reinforcements is the tab we want to be in. 
Uh, <coughs> the name of the tab is La Certa uh, Blockade. It's not there. Uh, it's not we don't have that. Why is the Lacerta yeah, blockade there. not there? Let's find out. I will look at my thing. Ah, because it's private. Why would it be private? Here it comes. <coughs> Talking too much and running out of water. I see a big hourglass on my uh, my sheet. There it is. I see. Uh, I see the Dauntler, a wormhole Alpha Terrible. Which is, in fact, the way we came, Alpha Terrible. And I see a lot of uh, blackness in between us. So I'm just going to assume that's empty space and it's safe. It, it's probably safe. How how dangerous could it be? You know, it's uh, you guys just destroyed two cloning, uh, cloning ships, and the word, for, word of that may get here within a decade or two. Yeah, but now I see the Kelvin Alliance, and that means that someone is going to get turned into a dodecahedron and crushed. Uh, yeah, did was that a? I'm I know it's a Trek reference, but did Trek you actually use that as a? Uh... Yeah, remember the Kelvins were the guys from the Andromeda Galaxy, and it was a third season episode, so they turned all the crew into dodecahedrons, so they didn't have to pay any extras, and they had the black male security guard and the female uh, red-shirted uh, yeoman, and when they, and they crushed, crushed the cube, one of the right? dodecahedrons, we assume it's going to be the black dude, and it's not. They killed the woman. <laughs> Well, it is uh, a six. Uh, by any other name, I think. No. I'm looking yeah. for my uh, my tables. Here it is. Red's Online Adventures. I'll be back in a minute. We're going to play for you another 10 all, minutes. You, you should all be uh, grateful to not be quarantined with this man. It's got Barbara Boucher. Wearing a costume by, uh, you know, Barbara Boucher in her prime, wearing a William Ware Feist costume. She looks amazing. I'm, I'm thankful, Laura. Very Scotty thankful. Scotty gets twelve hundred engineer drunk. Um, I, I can think of, I can think of worse fates, uh, but uh, let's see, uh, furlough, freelance, uh, Matakin yeah. asteroids. It is ten episode. La Certa. Here it is. Uh, this uh, this mission was sponsored by the Church of Galactic Vision. Have you uh, have you made your donation today? Uh, none of the locals here call this place uh, Ignoramus. Uh, the ruling officials uh, have decided that they will only have positive influences in their system, and they take offense to anyone that actually refers to it as that. Um, the the move to loco uh, location Lacerta Ignoramus was along the wormhole route, and uh, we have reached there. And now we are going to move through the fog of war with the objective of reaching the actual base at Kelvin Alliance. Now I see where Mike's reference is coming in. <laughs> we got to reach. We're going to reach the Kelvin Alliance. I'm looking at what we have in the way, and uh, this is this is really ugly. Uh, and our goal. Let me go back to our uh, our duty roster and figure out what the heck we were doing here. Was this where we were just bringing in uh, humanitarian aid? Yep. Yeah, we're just trying to bring humanitarian aid into uh, into the the system. That's a that's that's probably an easy thing to do. Uh, and we have to know, find the aliens. Pay for those ships. Yes, I see where we have to take it. Uh, you guys do not see where we have to take it, correct? Because it's uh, not uh, it's in the blackened area. The only things we see are Lacerate, Ignoramus, Kelvin Alliance, and Wormhole Alpha Terrible. Well, wait a second, Rusty. Uh, you've said the you said the magic word that is not allowed to be spoken in this system. You're not allowed by order of the governor to say the word Ignoramus. So that's a. Uh... Gonna, yeah, but you wanted to know. People. You wanted to know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean. I was trying to help the referee. Has blacked out and not. <laughs> so what you're telling me is you did not say that in character. That's as we, right. As if we would care. Uh, Fed blog foul. Uh, you're trying to find uh, his agent or him himself somewhere in this system. It is uh, not a pleasant system to cross. And uh, I will start with uh, with you, Rusty. So this is the oh dice to be on you. Would you please push the Dauntless Perisher token? You, you can move it, correct? Yeah, I can. Let's go right there. Uh, into the black. Okay. 
fog of war. I assume I can't just create a portal and go over to Kelvin Alliance, right? Uh, we could try to trip there in system. Like, it's like it's a little, warp. It's a little bit dangerous, but yeah, you want Laura to try that? She could. She is not with uh, without the capability. Does it risk her capability? Uh, it, it risks her insanity. Oh well, well then no. <clears throat> Yeah. All right, you have you have not found anything, Rusty. Would you like to move again? No, but I guess I will. Okay, I'm going to continue down. Continuing down into the minefield. Minefields are good, right? <laughs> it's 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 for mining barges. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what it is. You know, do we get? Do we find some precious ore? Can we uh, Q and D boarding to reach the command and control module and deactivate the ones clinging to your vessel. Removal without that would be nearly impossible. Uh, Rusty, I will give you the option of either expending a, a make roll, nearly impossible, to go out <coughs> there on the hull and take off the mines, or we're going to run this Q and D boarding <coughs> action to reach the command and control module. So uh, your choice, since you were the one that found the area, did you want to do a uh, boarding action? It's a Q and D right out of the regular rules. We uh, usually do quite well on the Q and D's and the rules. Or did you want to just expend a right, uh, make roll and move to the next one? Q and D board the bad guy. I page, don't have that uh, many make rolls left, so I'm good. We're gonna do Q and D, folks. Okay, here comes the first uh, tab of the Q and D, which goes to Laura. Laura, how about a, a nine, a nine so void, a nine void bane. Laura is AFK, so I will take that. Uh, Mike, uh, how about a nine, uh, nine void bane? Okay, so on a void on this table, a random player receives an insanity point. Uh, uh, in time. Uh, no, uh, that would be if it was. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. The, Where did you have that? At least the table here says ship combat handicap modifier, stellar difficulty of next regular card flip increases by one. Yeah, void those are uh, those. If I point. there. Those are if I, I can post the whole group here just so, you know, we can see what uh, Mike is talking about. In the rule set, if you want to make the battle really hard, you can say stellar. Difficulty on next regular card flip increases by one void, etc. But I haven't activated any of those flares. Cool. They can be then, activated uh, spontaneously by the table itself. But all oh, we're doing, Mike, right. is that uh, you should have this in your tool, I hope. Yep. Give me a nine void bane under uh, lock and board. Launch a full salvo before locking into a course matching boarding position. Success for Catbird Seed. Condition trait fierce. I am fierce. Difficulty 11. Advantage savvy preeminent. And because uh -huh. the uh, the inverted bane is as the regular card flip, but failure also being, uh, brings pin to you as well, Mike. So Correct. see so if you can pick up the I Catbird Seed. Well, actually, these are, uh, these are conditional these again. Trait fierce. Who is trait fierce around the table, starting with Mike? Mike, are you fierce? Yep. Okay, give me a chance that you'll roll it then. Give me an 11 On to pick up preeminent. Place. I'll take that preeminent. Uh, Mike will pick up preeminent, savvy preeminent, and uh, also the catbird seat next round. Uh, Greg Morrison, do you have, uh, are you fierce as a character? Uh, yes, I am. Give me a roll of an 11 to pick up preeminent. 11 two dice 7 11 this is optional if you miss it you're pinned oh i didn't realize um your second well, roll for your level oh that's right what level are you there you're five go. better right yeah yeah okay Twelve. you you have picked up savvy preeminent which is nice and i go over to tony tony did you wish to roll this are you fierce i am fierce but i don't know if i want to risk getting pinned Okay, um, um, uh, Savvy Preeminent. Um, no, I'll just pass. Okay, I go over to Greg Squires. Greg Squires, are you fierce? I am not fierce. Uh, how about I go to my character? My character, I believe, is fierce. Let me look. Do I want to try to roll? Uh, I am fierce, and if I roll an 11, I pick up Preeminent Savvy, which I... Do, do not it. have is it worth it to me i will use one of my yeah. rake rolls and i will just pick it up since we're close to the end of the day anyway right well 
make rolls don't reset per session. They reset per mission. It depends on if we finish the mission in the next 10 minutes. Well, we finished the big. Yeah, I'm not going to reset my uh, make rolls, but uh, um, yeah, that's true, Mike. You you do you do have me. I only have one left then for this. Mission. You might want to do a trait bonus if you've got like a spirited or. Uh, uh, or uh, yeah, you know you're right. I could just do a. a, a do a fury a, pip or a command. A fury pip. pip for two, and then I would need to roll a nine. But I don't want to affect the ship and be pinned. But I'm you know it probably won't go around that much more. All right, two dice for a nine. I'll save the make roll. And there it is. All right. So I still have two. Thank you, Mike, uh, for that point of order and saving me. I did pick up the preeminent, which is nice to have. And I go on to uh, Rusty. Rusty, did you want? Are you I'm fierce? not fierce. I'm not uh, fierce. Laura, you fierce. I, I am fierce, but I just picked up preeminent when I leveled. <laughs> ah, so there's no need. To, well, you you still could get the catbird seat of plus three next roll around you if you need a lot of preeminent. I could try and walk it at Glorious, but for a roll of an 11, I don't think. I, I think I'd end up pinned. What, even though you, it's only pinned for a round. Could you use your spirited? Since this yeah. will be the last roll of the game, uh, did you want to use your spirited and perhaps uh, get plus two? Uh, or lock it as Glorious? Um, well, you'd be potentially pinned, lose so. it. I, yeah, I, 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 I don't think I'd. Okay, a good choice. And Mike, I didn't start with you. Would you like to roll, please? Are you fierce? No, you started with me. I, I succeeded at the roll and picked up my preeminent. Thank you, Mike. Here comes the card, and I'm flipping for the group. Uh, Greg, would you please read us a four bane? Greg oh. Morrison, that is. Yeah. Sorry, I'm having trouble with my mute. Okay. Uh, you see it? Yeah. Uh, four bane, use the ploy... PP, who's got the P, and eject loads of inert material into the path of the attacker. Some of these P's are compact ordnance or superheated plasma spheroids. Success to lower target by one. Regardless, ship loses ship code of conduct. Do we even have that? Condition, EE suit ordnance A, difficulty 11, advantage, EE suit direct plasma Q. And we do have a, co a code of conduct, but let's take a look first on who has ordinance. Uh, do you have ordinance A, Greg? I do. Okay, so give me a roll of an 11, and uh, you could possibly pick up direct plasma. No. Two rolls? Two rolls. Two rolls. No, it's just swapping places. <laughs> okay, and uh, uh, we go to Tony. Tony, do you have ordinance A? I do, and I already have. Uh, direct plasma so there's no real so, benefit except by if you make the roll of 11 on three dice we're going to be out of this table and that'd be nice okay well there you go we're out of the table but let's see if we can get greg uh, greg do you have a uh, ordinance ee suit a by any chance i do not okay do you have any other a swagger uh, let me check i don't think so but um nope Okay, and me, I have the ordinance A. I do I have the direct plasma already? Uh, direct plasma Q, I do not have it, so I will try to roll a nine to pick it up. And I have rolled a nine to pick it up. I will take that EE suit direct plasma Q. And once again, I thank Mike for the good bit of wisdom that he gave me before to not yeah. waste a make roll. I've picked up some nice, uh, Nice swaggering here at the end of the day. Rusty, do you have <laughs> ordinance A or any coverage of it? Nope, no A's. No A's. Uh, Laura, do you have any A's? I have the savvy and the funky. Okay, so do you have direct plasma? No, I don't. Why don't you roll me an 11 and pick <clears throat> it up? And would you like to activate your spirit since Tony has already ended the session for the day? Well, I, I rolled it before um, before you asked that question. So Okay. <laughs> So and you know, uh, you I believe you missed it by one, but I you did have the catbird seat from the last time you made the roll, or did you decide to skip it? Actually, I had the catbird seat as well. The, the last round, I, I skipped the roll. Okay, I, and Mike, did you get your chance to roll for this or not? I have ordinance and direct plasma at Glorious, so while you guys are trying to do this, I'm telling you, got, dudes, it's the red button, not the green one. Uh yeah, you know, I actually read the fine print here. It says, regardless, ship lost its code of conduct. That's yeah. that's very sad that we lost that. I wonder why it was mentioned when an ordinance was the thing. But we are out of this table, and it is 8.57, and that probably is it for the evening. 